Here is Simeon from BlendFX and I show you how to update Blender with one click. Most users should be happy with the stable version from Blender.org. But if you want the newest features or bug fixes, you can also go experimental with the daily builds. But because they are updated daily, it could be time consuming um, to download and unzip them every time you want an updated version. So go to github.com and search for the Blender Updater CLI from um, Tobias Kummer. And under the releases tab, you download the newest executable. I create a folder for this called um, Blender Updater. And after the tool is downloaded, I move it to this folder. In this folder, I create a subfolder, which is the target folder for the Blender installation. I also need a text file, which I name update Blender. And in this text file, we enter the command for the tool. And this consists of the first part, which is just the path to the executable, which is in the same folder. So it's a relative path, then the parameter P, and afterwards the target folder, which is Blender in this case. Then I rename the text file to a BAT file to make it an executable. And if you don't see the file ending, there's a little checkbox in Windows where you can enable the file endings. Then double click the update Blender bud and now the magic happens already. It's downloading the newest version, afterwards unzipping, copying and Yes, it's done. Now I search the Blender Exe and create a shortcut. And this shortcut I, um, I cut out and paste to start Blender. Voila. This is the version from today. That's already it and now I give some additional hints. For example, if you update and there's already the same version installed, it asks you if you want to continue. If you don't like this dialog box, you can modify the but, you have to edit it, and the parameter N means that it automatically detects if there's a newer version. Here you find on the GitHub page all possible flags. You can also not just use relative path but absolute path if your BAT file is in another place. For example, your BAT file is on the desktop and you want this um, tool or Blender in another folder. If you want to update Blender at every start, you can put a shortcut to the auto start folder from Windows. So every time you start Windows, your Blender is updated automatically. I recommend having a stable version from Blender installed for most tasks, and but it's also interesting to have the daily builds to see newest features or sometimes I also need, it, need them because when there's a bug which was sadly in the stable version, then it helped me.
So thank you for watching and I hope it was useful for some of you.